Now I'll show you on how to disable a Fobo Extra sensor. So I've got one sensors, one ex Fobo Extra sensor pad to this uh, Fobo tire set, and uh, I need to tap on the um, extra sensors, and it says disable sensor. So I tap on it, and now my sensor is disabled. Once the sensor is disabled, it will stop monitoring the um, the uh, the tire that is screwed on. Okay, there's two reasons to have this uh, disable function. One reason is um, I do not want to monitor this tire anymore. And the other reason is that if I ever lose this sensor, uh, I need to disable it. And for me to, to reinstall a new sensor by enabling back uh, a new sensors. Okay, a, a note that we have to take care of is when I disable a Fobo Extra sensor, um, I cannot use this sensor that's disabled to pair with another car under the same account. Yeah, so I'll, I'll repeat again. Uh, for any Fobo Extra sensors that is paired with a specific car or tied to a specific car, yeah, cannot be reused to as an extra sensors in a separate car but under the same account. Okay, for this case, I've got three cars in this account, and just now I had a sensors paired to to Jaguar under the extra sensors. It says disable. So if I were to take this same Fobo Extra sensor and go to uh, my separate car, a Volvo S40 and I tap on the extra sensors if I use back the same sensor and an extra it will not work and the app will give me a warning yeah okay it's fine so we'll go back to, to the same car, the Jaguar where I've uh, disabled the full extra sensors now I'll re-enable back this uh, sensor so like I said, it can be the same sensor or it can also be a brand new sensor so to enable the sensors, tap on this Spread the uh, Fobo Extra sensors. Says um, install sensor. So tap on it. Yeah. So in this scenario, I am installing back the same Fobo Extra sensors that I have to this uh, spare tire. This is sensor. Yeah. This can be the same sensor or a new sensor. Yeah. I screw it back on now to the spare tire. And I tap OK on my phone. Okay, I got it. So the extra sensors that has been disabled is now re-enabled back and it's working now. Thanks.